Hi. It's a, hi. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be able to speak with you. Uh, I've uh, I've seen the first uh, four episodes and was thoroughly um, uh, thoroughly entertained uh, <laughs> of, of those episodes for sure. Uh, so how how is it to step into the world of Marvel and to do it in a show like this that really stands out among the rest it, it, because they've been going on for years now and, and this feels really different. Thank you. Yeah, that's why it's the best. I mean, it's already exciting to be in the Marvel universe. You know, it's a dream for any actor. It's 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 so big and and fun and everything that you want as an actor. You know, I, like I think our goal is to play all these weird, you know, things in these really imaginative ways. But for She-Hulk, you know, it's it's the new thing. I like when everything is going to its next level and has new types of creativity. And so it's so fun to be in She-Hulk because it's it's special. It's another new special element where we have we're really heavy with the comedy and 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 we have a superhero that doesn't want to be a superhero. So it's yeah. just fun in how new it is. And she breaks the fourth wall. I love all of it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, as you mentioned, it, it's actually, it, it's officially a, a comedy, a half hour comedy yeah. uh, taking place within the, the MCU. And, and that's really different. And, and it's a fun watch for sure. Uh, I, I know you, uh, I, I really loved you on uh, Brecht <laughs> back oh, in the you. days. So, yeah. so I, I know you, you, I already knew that you had like comedic timing and <laughs> in, in kidding as well. Uh, so, oh, um how uh, did did they let you like play with the lines and do stuff like that or did you have to go by the script a lot or, or were you able to riff a little yeah no they were very uh kind with letting us be really free with the lines um when i auditioned i improvised a lot so i think they knew that i was going to go rogue as I call it and do that yeah. but you know Jessica's such a brilliant writer and she's and I think anyone who does comedy is used to that you know she has an Emmy she has all these awards from comedy so it's kind of a world that you know we're all comfortable with and so they were nice to give us uh that freedom and I felt like I had a lot of a lot of freedom and uh but yeah it's you can only do it when the script is good you know, otherwise it's a lot of heavy lifting and you're changing things. But when when the core of it is good and it's written so well, then you know exactly where you can jump off and switch things up and make it fun for yourself. And all the actors are such seasoned comedic people as well. And Tatiana is a really good improviser and knows how to roll with things. And Josh Zagara, who plays Pug, is hilarious. Renee Lee Goldsberry from Hamilton is like one of the funniest people I've ever met. So we were just like, we just had so many really talented, funny people. It, we're very lucky on this show. Yeah. And I, I also wondered, it's, since you, you actually get to spend the time with uh, Tatiana, both as the She-Hulk and as the, the human version of, of herself, uh, what, uh, how did you actually like solve that while being on set? Uh, you look, having to look up all of a sudden? Did, did you have like a tennis ball or was it her <laughs> in really high heels how, how did you guys do that uh, like on set yeah she has her motion capture like pajamas and then she has a rig it's like a backpack and then it has a pole and then it has like a green alien head that is terrifying by the way <laughs> to look at so it's funny because she hulk is fun and she's funny but i'm looking at a scary thing um but yeah, that's mostly how we did it. And sometimes she would be on a riser and then I could actually look at Tatiana and she would just be, she would just be lifted up. But uh, it was weird to get used to for sure. But she's very physical and she was always in her body as She-Hulk. You know, her posture is different, even if I can only yeah. see a little bit of her. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it becomes normal after a while. But anytime I made, anytime I stopped looking at the green thing, she would secretly be like, like signaling to me, like, look up, look up. And then I'd be like, yes, 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 yes. Like, <laughs> just kind of like pretending as if I had always been looking at her eyes. Yeah. Yeah. 
all right that, that's fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so uh, there's also a, a bunch of cameos uh, going around in, in this and that's uh, a known fact uh, you've already spilled the beans on that was there a favorite uh, of uh, the ones that are out there uh, th that you liked working with Oh my goodness. I mean, Mark Ruffalo and Benedict Wong are like my favorite people on the planet other than Tatiana. I just like Mark was instantly like Mark plays Tatiana's cousin and it's like he's her cousin in real life. And I've been their family member as a friend, you know, it's so natural and yeah. weird and he's so great. And Benedict is just, he's, it's so fun to watch him be funny too, because he's so serious in some of the films, but he's such a funny person. And he's just so loving and supportive like he would he would just watch tatiana and i and then you know uh, it was like fun for him he, like he he really he was so laudatory and so and it's funny to have this like iconic marvel character like enjoying like popcorn watching the two of you act yeah. on that, you know <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah but he's rad and i've told people like he would be dressed as wong but he would dj for us and play music on set and just is such a happy, uh, cool, talented, loving person. I love him. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I know we're almost out of time, but I just had to get uh, some true lies in here as well. <laughs> of course, uh, I'm really looking forward to to that reboot. Uh, so, so how how has that been? Uh, having that on on the side of this as well, uh, but that's a huge thing and a huge role to it's step so into cool. Jim Lee Curtis' shoes. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. She's such an icon. It's funny because you think about Marvel and all these people training for all these roles. I didn't have to train to be a paralegal in She-Hulk, you know, <laughs> but for True Lies, now I feel like I'm doing a bunch of Marvel type training for True Lies yeah. as I'm going to kickboxing and all these things. But I'm excited for that. It's really funny also. And I think it, I think it's like, it's really fun. And, and I've been lucky back to back to have these two casts where I just want to keep everyone as my friends for forever. And I'm, I enjoy myself all the time. And, and it's the same way on true lies. Like we, we crack each other up and it's so, it's so happy. It's not like that on every show. I feel like one in four shows are, are really like familial and, and you feel very close and I've had that back to back now. So I feel very lucky. Yeah, yeah, and, and fans really seem to like that first trailer as well. So, so, so mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm hoping we will have a a, a good um, east um, fall season with, with that debut. Thank you. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that that was all my questions. So I, I just wish you the best of luck with the, both the premieres, and uh, hope to talk to you sometime down the line again. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.